Rayleigh's our great granddaughter. When she was six months old, and she was having 30 to 60 seizures a day. Then last spring, we noticed a bruise on her inside of her thigh. A few days later, they came back with a pathology diagnosis and it was lymphoblastic lymphoma. Without treatment, death is within three to five months. You treat her or she's dead, it's that simple. So we're in the hospital and a lady I've never seen before walks in the room. She said, I'm gonna try to get y'all a room at the Ronald McDonald house. I didn't know what that was. I was 66 years old and the only thing I knew about the Ronald McDonald house was is when I went to McDonald's, I had a box sitting by the cash register and I put money in it. She brought us over here, one block from the emergency room entrance of Children's Hospital. Rayleigh's in a wheelchair and I can push her there in two minutes and 12 seconds because I've timed it. Well, we come to know the Ronald McDonald house because in the last 14 months, we've probably spent a hundred nights here. But last December, during the night, Rayleigh got sick. Jump out of bed, put her in the wheelchair, and we're racing down the street. We get in the emergency room door. Her temperature in two minutes went to 103. She teetered there for seven hours. And finally, her oxygen level in her blood started coming back up. I'm going to say again that we live three and a half hours away, but we had the Ronald McDonald house, and we were here. If we hadn't been here, the child would have died. I hope your family never needs the Ronald McDonald house. But I want to tell you something, if you do, there's nothing like it. We thank God for it every day.